Located in West Long Beach, the campus of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo High School is bound by the 405 and 710 freeways and is close to the largest port complex in North America, generating employment for nearly 3 million nationwide. As such, freight traffic has a major presence in this heavily industrial community, providing immediate relevance to introducing a global logistics pathway to students. In 2016, as part of its community outreach effort, the Port of Long Beach partnered with Long Beach Unified School District and adopted Cabrillo High School as the home of a new small learning community called the Academy of Global Logistics to help industry develop and recruit the next generation of skilled employees. At the Port of Long Beach, we recognize our role in the community as a major economic engine, generating thousands of jobs, well-paying jobs. But we know that it's also our responsibility to make sure that our youth are exposed and prepared to take advantage of these jobs. And so one of the things we did here at the Port of Long Beach that we're very proud of is we established the Academy of Global Logistics. The city of Long Beach should be the home to logistics education because we're in the shadow of the nation's largest trade gateway. And Long Beach Unified School District, Long Beach City College, and Cal State Long Beach have worked together for years under the Long Beach promise to ensure that students uh, can take advantage of opportunities that are brought about by that trade activity. Having the Port of Long Beach as an extension of that only allows us to do more. According to the Statistical Atlas of the U.S. Census Bureau, over 28% of West Long Beach residents lack a high school diploma. Cabrillo High School was long recognized as one of the most disadvantaged schools in the city. There is no minimum GPA required for students to enter the AGL program. The port contracted with the Center for International Trade and Transportation, CITT, to assist with the development of the academy. CITT was selected because we exist at the intersection of industry and education, and our experience in curriculum development, in train the trainers, um, and in industry engagement was something unique that we could bring to the table to this unique partnership between the port and Long Beach Unified School District. As a linked learning pathway, the Academy is based on an approach that combines academic curriculum with industry-relevant training and information to support academic and career development. This includes site visits that expose students to the field. Teachers collaborate across disciplines to develop curriculum based on real-world knowledge and skills sought after by employers. Students are college ready or prepared for careers upon graduation. It opens up a whole industry that they're not familiar with. So they understand that you could major in, if you have an interest in math, you can still major in logistics and still use your math, your math skills. They're also introduced to career pathways through Long Beach City College, through Cal State Long Beach, and that's brought into the classroom and students are brought to the college campuses as well. The Academy is supported by an active and engaged advisory board involving critical actors in workforce development, including Long Beach City College, the Pacific Gateway Workforce Investment Network, and a range of industry stakeholders. Sustainability is embedded with advisory board members who are leading recruitment efforts to ensure industry partners remain engaged and relevant. So high school internships, uh equip students with the skills they're going to need to continue their education um, and to go into the workplace in, in a few ways. Uh, number one, the internships of validation of the experience they had. So they get to test the skills both in terms of market value and relevancy for themselves. The other thing an internship does for students, it allows them to build some social capital. They're now not only attached to an organization but the supervisor at that organization and their networks. And we know that many of our students in Long Beach wouldn't have the opportunity to do that without an internship. CITT also developed a professional development program to help teachers incorporate lessons into their teaching practice. I think learning about the industry itself opens up avenues for the teachers, but also for the students. Because thinking specifically just about the Academy of Global Logistics, you think, what does that entail sometimes as a teacher? And if you don't know, um, you have the opportunity to learn different pathways, that this, career pathways that the students could take, but also just how to incorporate 
real life experiences and opportunities into the classroom that make sense for a student. Together, teachers and industry partners prepare students who are work ready with employment portfolios and communication practice via industry mixers and conferences, including the Trans-Pacific Maritime Conferences, Port of Long Beach annual events, and the International Urban Freight Conferences. The thing that I liked in Port of, Port of Long Beach is how the workers work efficient and how they do the process so fast and how, and how the port authorities keep the ports clean. Building beyond the Long Beach College Promise, graduates have access to multiple entry and exit points in logistics education. Many of these logistics occupations are classified as middle skill jobs that require more than a high school diploma but less than a four-year university degree and provide family sustainable wages with ample opportunities for job mobility. These strategies increase the capacity of the logistics workforce in the region. We uh, a lot of times assume that students are on a very linear path, that the path is clear from high school to college and then on to career. But for many folks, that's not the path that they take. Maybe they work right away after high school, maybe they do a little bit of community college, maybe they're a returning student um, and they're looking for a change in their career. And we need to provide multiple entry points into the education system for everybody. It's not a one size linear path for most folks. Um, and we know that at Long Beach City College for sure. And so being able to create partnerships with AGL, with Cal State to provide opportunities for short term training, for certificates or for different degrees is so important because there are middle skill jobs out there that are really hard to fill but we can do it and we can really provide life-changing careers for folks with just a clear path and potentially only a little bit of training. Through AGL, CITT effectively created a community of practice combining the Port of Long Beach, Long Beach Unified School District, Long Beach City College, Cal State Long Beach and CITT, the Pacific Gateway Workforce Investment Network and a range of industry stakeholders. I also think it's a real replicable model. I think it takes a lot of hard work to develop the relationships that EGL folks have developed, but once you're there, I think the model itself can be brought to other high schools and other communities, regardless of the industry. So I think they've really um, set the standard when it comes to a best practice for partnerships like this. Every member in the AGL community of practice is committed to creating a sustainable pipeline of talented and trained workers for the global logistics industry.